hello um hi welcome back to my channel sorry i've literally been footing about with this camera for like half an hour now because it's just not looking right today it's making me look really really pale and washed out i actually had a pink hoodie on over this which was really nice my little cold buxom one but it's draining me it's making me look a really funny color and i'm not i'm not vibing with it so we're gonna have to just go with plain white kind of blending in but anyways so yeah i'm rushing about today because i got to be for tomorrow <laughs> who's excited me quite clearly so yeah i'm filming this video and uploading it all on the same day wish me luck so today's saturday and i go literally tomorrow morning the flight's at like 7 a.m so yeah i've not had a minute all week and now i've just finally got around to filming this and i really wanted to get it up this week because you guys know i'm trying to get a video up every week for you and this one has been very long requested as you can see from the title this is rating my old ibiza outfits i thought i would just do a little chatty video sitting in here going through all my old outfits rating them with you just having a little laugh with you guys get me in the mood for going to ibiza tomorrow so yeah let's go also just while we're on here right i have literally been feeling so weird recently i don't know what is wrong with me i've actually seen a few people on instagram saying that they feel the same i just feel like well to be honest i've had a million and one things just going wrong at the minute um and i felt like i just wanted to come on and share this with you guys because i feel like i need to let it out to someone so i'm letting it out to you and i don't want to come on here and be like a debbie downer because obviously this is meant to be an exciting fun vlog i'm going to ibiza tomorrow this is literally like my 10 millionth trip of the year um, because i've been so lucky to get to go on so many trips this year so i shouldn't be sitting here moaning but honestly i just don't know what is like in the air at the minute but so many things keep going wrong for me and straining the life out of me to be honest um so yeah i thought i'd just share that with you guys because i actually needed to vent and let it out to someone and also i thought it's really important to come on here and just tell you guys that instead of coming on here and like i'm going to ibiza tomorrow i'm so excited i'm so excited i'm so happy and so grateful that i'm getting to go but also at the same time i'm just feeling a bit like meh is that the right word me. I thought I'm just going to share that with you guys because I think it's really important when you're watching YouTube and looking at people's lives on Instagram you think it's so perfect and obviously it's not major things that have like gone wrong in my life but I think it's just kind of important to let you guys know that not everything's fine all the time but enough of that for today no negative vibes over here because Ibiza in the morning. So yeah, let's get on. Let's lift the mood a bit. Really sorry about that, guys. I don't like coming on in morning teas, but I felt like I had to just vent and let it out. So let's get on. I've got all the pictures here in a little album on my phone. I think I'm going to start with the older ones because <laughs> there's some absolute bellers. Oh my God, some of these, some of these, honestly, what was I thinking? I look back and I just think, what was going on in your head to to think that this outfit was acceptable i don't know i'm gonna start off with i think i'm not gonna start off with the the bit i'm saying best but it's actually the worst i'm not gonna start off with that now i'm gonna start off with one of the okay but not so great one also if you can hear squeaking bit of a weird move to be making on youtube please don't delete my video basically it's this this little stool that i sit on um at my dressing table it's kind of squeaky i think there's like a bit of a loose why is it not doing it now okay there's a loose screw but it's not even making the noise anymore so moving on so yeah as i was saying ibiza 2019 probably one of the best holidays of my life i feel like 2019 as the years the years as the years go was just honestly one of the best years ever i don't know if it was because it was just right before covid but i feel like life was just so bloody good when I look back on the memories, I think, good year. Outfits, not so good to be honest. Is it gonna focus? Oh, it's focused. So this is outfit number one. And this, I mean, it's not extremely bad, but I've went out in a, in a, in a pair of knickers. Like those, those are a pair of pants. At night, this this was at night. I went out in a pair of pants, a bra, and a cropped 
shirt with feathers on it and also I had this Playboy necklace on which I just thought was really cool and <laughs> it wasn't also guys remember these belts I feel like literally everyone had these Diamante sparkly belts fell to pieces in five minutes yeah broke as soon as I walked out the hotel so that outfit I think it's not so bad but why did anyone let me go out in a literal pair of granny knickers and yeah they are sparkly iridescent pink they're kind of cute but I just don't think I would wear this anymore I feel like it's quite fitting for the time but yeah I wouldn't wear it now maybe maybe seven seven out of ten 7 out of 10 if the belt stayed together. Oh, okay. Outfit 2. <laughs> Guys, I, just, I don't even know if I want to show you this. It's, it's quite, it is quite horrific, so I need to take a drink. Mm. What's wrong with me? Why is that actually sliding down my face? Who can't drink a glass of water correctly? Right, this outfit, number 2. Quite a strange outfit, I have to say. I don't know what was going through my head with this one. The other one I think was cute for the time. Wouldn't wear it now. A little bit on the naked front. This, I actually have no reasoning on where this came from. Yeah, beforehand, like I hadn't seen anyone wearing this. It wasn't as if I like took inspo from anyone. This was literally created in my own head and I remember being so proud of it. I loved it at the time. The girls later admitted to me that they thought what the hell are you wearing at the time? And now it is a complete and utter running joke in the group chat. <laughs> so yeah, we've got a pink maxi tutu, which is questionable. It's just the most questionable bit, questionable bit about it. Sorry, I'm, I'm actually lost for words. This outfit is the, probably one of the worst outfits I've ever put together. I can't even speak. The pose with the sunglasses, the pink maxi skirt, the iridescent bondage bralette because <laughs> oh my god the glasses are so bad as well they're like half half glasses like they're they're not even doing anything if the sun's shining in your eyes you are not getting any uv protection from those sunglasses it's not even a full pink tutu it's got a strip down the front and two big bits at the side Oh, I really don't know. It's just not good. It's just not. It's not good at all. Okay, outfit number three. I have been standing here on the floor like a complete and utter fool for about five minutes because this camera just doesn't ever focus on anything. But this is outfit number three from the same holiday. Hmm. It's given Tin Man. It's very shiny. Um, the belt completely wore to death. It was the gold, like, Amor belt from ASOS. I feel like you guys will remember it, this gold chain belt that literally everyone and their granny had from ASOS. I wore it to death. I wore it with, like, every single outfit that I wore in 2019. The outfit is given very tin man. It's very shiny. Um, this was the most uncomfortable thing I've ever worn. We got a taxi to a club and I actually had to leave and come home because it was so itchy. <laughs> like, what? What is even the point in that? I tried it on before I went as well and I said to my mum, this is so itchy, I hate the feeling of it. And she said, we'll return it then. And I was like, no, I love it. Also, this was after Ocean Beach. I was absolutely rat harsed and the, the picture quality is horrific. This is just, this is just not good. Um, my hair looks like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. My makeup doesn't look that bad in this picture, but oh my God, every single picture that everyone took of me that night, I had about 50 layers of bronzer on my cheeks. The highlighter was also given very Tin Man vibes, so it matched the outfit, which I had on for five minutes because it was uncomfy and itchy me and I had to get a taxi home and change. So this outfit gets a three out of 10 because it is quite frankly just stupid. Also just realised that we forgot to rate Pink Maxi. So Pink Maxi skirt I am giving you 5 out of 10 because you've provided some laughs over the years. Next outfit from the same holiday is this one here. I love this to be honest. I would actually still wear this now. I think 
this was a great outfit for me. This is from Easy Tiger on Instagram. It's one of the like dual kind of like bodysuit things that they do. Megan Welsh actually wore one this year, Megano. She wore like a purple one with like all the stars and stuff on it. Looked so cool. Actually loved it. And yeah, I love this so much. Like I would literally wear this again. Wore it to ants. Was a little bit hot, but I bloody loved it. And I still love it now. Um, was hungover and absolutely dying. So my hair and everything else going on isn't great. But the outfit really does it for me. Sorry, this sounds like my bum's playing a wee trumpet. But it's just this stool, I promise. Um, yeah, I would wear this now. I sold this on Depop when we came back from that holiday. And it's one of my biggest regrets. I have never ever regretted selling anything on Depop really that I can think of because every time I put something up I think right am I going to regret selling this like will I be able to get it again if I really really wanted it and there's a big long thought process before I sell things. I'm quite a hoarder. This I very impulsively sold and I wish I never because it's always sold out on Easy Tiger. You can't get it on Depop or anything. And I actually probably would have taken this Tybetha with me this year because I love it. And we're outfit repeating queens these days. So yeah, should never have sold it. This outfit is actually going to get a strong 10 out of 10. I have to say, I love it. Okay, so moving on to Ibiza 2020 and 2021. Is this 2022? I keep getting really confused with like what date and stuff it is. I've never had this issue before. But the other day like someone asked me what age I was as well and I really had to think about it. And I was like 21. No, 22. Like what? Who gets that mixed, mixed up? But I keep forgetting what year it is. I think it's 2022. So yeah, let's just go through these ones from 2020 and 2021. So 2020 we went to Ibiza, me and Taylor and it was literally in the middle of COVID, in the middle of lockdown, there was one week like out of the full year that they let flights and stuff go ahead and we had a holiday booked with all our friends. We were all meant to be going together, like all the boys, all the girls. It was honestly going to be such a good holiday. Obviously it got cancelled because COVID and yeah, extremely annoying. Um, but me and Taylor had booked like separate flights from all of them because I think they were all going for a week and me and him were just going to go for five days. So the flight that we had booked actually went ahead so we were like if this flight's going like let's just book a hotel and go and see what happens and we miraculously managed to get there in the middle of a pandemic probably not the most sensible decision but all was okay and yeah it was actually the best holiday we've ever had one of the best holidays we've ever had because america top small but just the feeling when we got there because it was literally in the middle of the pandemic I was like this is surreal like how are we on holiday right now um yeah the outfits from that some also kind of questionable ones especially for the timing so I'm gonna start with this now I'm not sure if this is really giving me Ibiza with the boyfriend vibes this is giving me rave with the girls I wore this going for dinner and drinks with Taylor, bearing in mind there was no clubs open. Um, also, <laughs> the stance of the picture. Can we please discuss the stance? And I'm I'm meant to be an, an influencer. What's that pose? <laughs> I'm actually standing like this. Sorry, you can't even see me. <laughs> what? Like what? Why? What's that stance all about? This outfit I bought like in a last minute stress going over there because we were obviously not meant to be going and then we went. And I think they only had the skirt in stock and an extra, extra small. Right, I am not an extra, extra small in my life. I'm just not that size. And I think the skirt actually barely covered my bum cheeks. So I was probably standing like that so that it fit me and I was waddling around. Also the top is tiny. Oh god I'm full. To be fair the outfit in itself is not bad. I would I would maybe wear this now if I was going to like a club or something with the girls. It's definitely not the right outfit for a wee dinner, a wee sunset dinner at Mambo's with your boyfriend in the middle of a pandemic when all the clubs are shut. This isn't, this isn't given that. Um, this, 
the stance really sets it off. So this is going to get a, a 6 out of 10 to be honest because the hair and makeup is just not great. Next on the list for 2020 is Jack Sparrow. <laughs> yeah, I actually like this. I would probably still wear this now, but it is giving very Pirates of the Caribbean. Jack Sparrow with the bandana on. I do like it. I would probably still wear this now. I maybe wouldn't wear it now, but I did like it at the time. So I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. Okay, so we're on to the last few outfits. I feel like these ones aren't as exciting to talk about because they aren't really that bad. Like, they're only from a year or two years ago. The 2019 ones are the best for a laugh. But I'm actually thinking, I know this is an Ibiza outfit rating video. Is the title of this? But I have came across some belters. Like, they're really bad. From Magaluf, which would have been... 2018 so I'm just gonna throw them in at the end let's just mix it up a bit because oh they're bad they're really bad and a little bit of spice okay anyways we've still got a couple more from Ibiza this was last year this I love would wear this again I've kept this dress didn't sell it on Depop very glad I never um I might actually take this with me this year because it's very comfy even though it's like a maxi dress it's like slinky and stuff love the cowboy hat this was on the Aquarius tequila rose trip which was just unbelievable to be honest like they literally took me on a trip to Ibiza like what like like what like that's still one of the biggest achievements I have to date. It was just phenomenal. Me, Lydia and Liana went for a few days beforehand to have a little holiday and then all the rest of the girls came over um, later into the week. So I think we were maybe there for like four days or something, just the three of us. And then Amy and Kirsten and all the other Aquarius girls came over and we stayed at Paradiso and this is our picnic at Espedra. And it was honestly just one of the best trips of my life, like getting to go away for work to Ibiza on a trip with amazing people and do amazing things is just actually quite mind blowing to me. Like I still feel like when I get asked to do stuff like that or asked to go to events and go on trips, I'm like, me? <laughs> like really? I feel like quite shocked. I'm just like... Go queen, to be honest. I keep saying go queen all the time just now. I said it on my TikTok the other day as well, and I'm not being serious when I say it, guys. Would just like to clarify that. Little slinky cut out maxi dress, little bit cheeky, and cowboy hat thrown in there. View in the background, up this picture. A good amount of points, so I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. This could be my only 10 out of 10 in the full video. <laughs> Okay, so just for a little bit of a laugh at the end of this video, this was Magaluf. This was 2018. <laughs> oh. Oh. No. It's really bad. This again, this was so uncomfortable. I think you can actually like tell from just looking at that, like how uncomfortable that picture is. I'm giving that a 5 out of 10. I think that is quite shocking. It is just... Oh, it's really not nice. Again, it was quite cool at the time, but no, no, no. <laughs> no. This, this is the... No, this is the worst one out of them all. This is the worst... This is actually probably one of the worst outfits I have ever... Ever, ever worn. <laughs> Oh, it's really bad, guys. It's really giving, like, clown vibes with the... With the... Oh, God, sorry. <laughs> Tipping up. It's giving very much clown vibes with the multicoloured bottoms. The yellow bandeau does not fit under that thing, whatever that thing is. Again, bondage style. What is that? That is just not me. It's just not nice. No. No, no, no. I'm not a fan. The bandeau also just... The fact that the bandeau doesn't fit underneath that probably shouldn't be the thing that's most annoying me about this because the full thing is just horrendous. Yeah. Four out of ten. Not good. And finally, last but not least, 
this is a Magaluf one again. Um, I feel like most of the outfits in this video have been Ibiza, but I thought I'll just throw these ones in because they are quite funny. Um, this one isn't too bad, to be honest, but I quite like it, and I was very proud of it at the time. So, this is the last and final outfit that you're going to see. Not too bad. Little Gucci print bandeau and skirt. Quite cute. Hair is quite nice. But, can you see the caption? What's Gucci? Gucci with a Y. G-U-C-C-Y. What's Gucci? Definitely not your two piece anyway, hen, because that is, that is not, that is definitely not Gucci. No, no, no. Oh dear, dear lord, honestly. If it's not bad, captions are perfect, so I'm gonna give this an 8 out of 10. And that's us done. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. feel like I've just kind of blabbered on a bit, so I hope this is fine when I go to edit it because I feel like I've just been talking 100 miles an hour and talking a lot of rubbish. I hope you have enjoyed. I am going to go and edit this now. Hopefully get this up today for you guys because I go away tomorrow, so I actually need to get this up today. And yeah, while I'm away, I'm going to vlog Ibiza. So tomorrow is Ibiza with Taylor, Harry and Lydia. I'm so excited. So we're meeting Harry and Lydia over there and yeah, we've got so much fun stuff planned but I'll save all that for the vlog. I'll have a vlog up next week and then I'm away to Ibiza again the week after with the girls. Ah, I'm so excited. So I'll probably do like a little pack and prep with me or something before that holiday because I definitely won't be vlogging it because I'll probably just be dying the full week. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This has really cheered me up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, thank you as always for all the love and support on YouTube and Insta and TikTok, whatever. So yeah, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, I love you.